Hello, hello! Welcome to another video on the channel where healing and spiritual growth are front and center. This video shout out goes to New World Astrology. Thank you for your continued support. And we're going to dive into the power of I am. Alright, yes. Alright, everyone. And no, that is not narcissism. Mm -mm 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 -mm. No. The power of I am. Okay. Oh, it, it is extremely powerful. And it helped to change that thinking. It helped God renew that mind. Okay? It helped God renew and restore and all of that that needs to be restored. And, and you know, how God puts us back together right in front of the people who try to destroy us. Okay? God does this. Alright? So, it's not narcissistic. Okay? Because, for example, I am a consultant. Because I am. I am an author. Because I am. I am a trauma specialist. I am. Okay? That's just to help you all put it in perspective. I am a coach. Okay? I am a child of God. Okay? That's just, that's not narcissistic. That's knowing who you are in Christ. Okay? That is not narcissistic. That's knowing who you are in Christ. I want everyone to let that sink in. Alright? So, where did God say it? Exodus 3.14 Exodus 3.14 I'll give y'all a second to pull that up if you wish because that's where God introduced himself to Moses. Or he actually, you know, stated his own name for the first time. Okay? So, we got the, it's the power of I am. See, once we realize that God's spirit in us and that the kingdom of God is also within the mind, okay, that's where all our creativity is, right, well, and that's another reason why, y'all, that the enemy wants to get control of the mind, after all, because the enemy also knows that what a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. This is why we got to unlearn and, 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 and stop engaging in negative self-talk, okay, because that's the trick of the enemy, because he knows, he knows the power of I am as well. All right, Exodus 3.14. And God said unto Moses, I am that I am. And he said, Thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, I am hath sent me unto you. That means that God has been sent unto them. So, God sent him, and he was to tell the children of Israel, that it was God who sent him. Okay? And remember something, in the Old Testament, you all, at that time, the Spirit used to come on. Okay? Uh-huh. Yes. God's Spirit used to come on. When Jesus died on the cross, now the God's Spirit's within. Alright? There's God's spiritual truth. In the Old Testament, it used to be where the Spirit would be on. Okay? But when Jesus came, see, this is why God also tells us that in Scripture, where it, and it's in one, it's in one Corinthians, where if the enemy had known that that's what was going to happen, they would have never crucified Jesus, right? Let's stop and think about that. And so the enemy always fears the day that we discover it. You know, that we're more powerful than we ever thought we were. And that's not, no, that doesn't mean, okay, a physical kind of power. Mm -mm, it's a spiritual power, you all. Remember, you know, we don't wrestle against flesh and blood here. All right? Our battle is not carnal. It's spiritual. Okay? So, that's what we're talking about. The spiritual power. The God Spirit within. The Holy Spirit. Okay? And then with Jesus, with the Godhead. All right, we have the power and authority to tell the devil to go pound sand. Tell his demon spirit to take a hike, return to sender, okay? That we've got the power to do that, spiritually, okay? So I want to clarify that for you all. Remember, <laughs> we're very, it's all about God's spiritual truth with the healing and spiritual growth. All right, so it's all of that that's in you. Because you got to stop and think, if... If we're, do, if we're engaging in negative self-talk, then 
the enemy knows that that's what will manifest. Stop and think about this. Why I say the mind is far more powerful than we ever imagined. So if we are sitting there and expecting the worst, then you're going to find it. That's why I say we cannot go around expecting the worst. Okay? No, 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 no. Because that's going to be easy to find. All right? Why? Because we're manifesting that. Stop and think for a moment. So we got to, and when I say manifest you all, I'm not talking about the, the MLM schemes or none of that. Okay? I'm talking about spiritually. Okay? Everything we talk about is spiritually. It's a spiritual manifestation. All right? Not the New Age uh, 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 crap. All right? None of that. Okay? None of that stuff. All right? We're, we're, this is all about God's spiritual truth. So, it's like what we are, you know, we, you, it's like, okay, what we think of ourselves in our heart, so are we. So, if we're going around thinking that we're not worthy... What, what do you think that, what, what's going to happen? If we go around believing that we can't do something, okay, what's going to happen? That's what we're going to manifest. If we go around, we're going to put, we're going to, we're going to put unnecessary limitations on ourselves. Remember, the enemy wants everybody to do that so that they stay in that bubble, that narcissistic matrix. So the enemy wants everybody to do that. But when we start changing that thinking, okay, changing that thinking, letting God renew the mind. And we realize, okay, you know what? I am a child of God. I want y'all to, you know, for those of you who are having a little bit of um, a struggle, you know, all of y'all, this is a great activity. You know, start, you know, you know tell your, you know, talk positive to yourself, okay? Because you will be amazed, okay, at the, the, the benefits, okay, and the positive outcomes that you will start to see, the positive changes in your life. When you start talking positively to yourself, because after all, when you're talking to yourself, you're also talking to the God spirit in you. So you're talking to God. So God is waiting for you to learn how to start talking positively to yourself and to him. That's what he wants to see. Okay? He doesn't want to see negative self-talk. He doesn't want to hear that. Because he's like, no, my child, I made you. Okay, I made you. The way I made you. Okay? You are a beautiful, intelligent, bright, and wonderful human being just the way God made you. Okay? So you are. Alright? So we start practice to say, I am. When you know, okay? You know, I am a child of God. We always start with that. If that's what you got to do. I am loved by God. God loves me. I know that God does love you. Don't let the enemy tell you otherwise. And let me share with you a real subliminal way the enemy tried to trick people into thinking that God does not love them. And that is by having people put questions and, and statements and meme things out there telling other people that they think God doesn't love them. Because what will that do? That, that eventually will play on the psych, right? And try to trick people into thinking that God does No, no, no. God does love you. Okay, remember I did a short over here. I also did one over on Pinterest. I want y'all to remember that God does love you. All right, He would not have awakened you to help you, to shape you, and to mold you. He would not have stayed with you the whole time. He would not be protecting you if He didn't love you. Okay, He wouldn't have waited however many long years for you to come back home to Him if He didn't love you. Of course, He does. God is love, okay? And so you say, I am a child of God. That's right. Start speaking that out. Speaking it. Speak it. Speak it. Speak it. Positive talk. Positive talk, okay? I am strong enough. Yes. I am. Yes. Whatever. I am a child of God. I am a writer. I am a painter. I am a chef. I'm a spiritual chef. <laughs> Spiritual chef is in the house. <laughs> All right. There you go. And thank you again, fellow warrior. That's an awesome kind of like nickname. I, I, I absolutely love it. Okay. I truly do. I am a spiritual chef. Yeah. Helping people learn how to make 
a new cake with God's recipe. That's right. And for you all, if you haven't checked out the Survivor Testimonies on the website, I highly recommend that you do so. Okay? Because that's more encouragement and inspiration for you all as well. Okay? That isn't just... Yeah, that's not trying to showcase or brag or anything like that. That's for inspiration, okay, to let you all know how this what the, how this ministry is helping others, okay, so that you can rest assure, you know, that we're not we're not out here. Yes, yeah, that look, we are soldiers for God. There you go. I am a soldier for God. Yeah, let's drop that in the comments below. Yeah, I am a soldier for God. That's right. All right. There you go. The power of I am. And you know what? When you start doing that, oh, God. Yeah. The, the, uh, the, the enemy does not like it, but that's too bad. Because that's how you'll start to recognize all the things within you that you've got it. It's already there. Okay. And we learn to stop engaging in negative self-talk. Because it's like that had no, you know. And I want to share y'all. This is why we need your sermon. So I'm going to share with you all something. That, you know, we'll, when you have to learn how to deal with sleepers around you who don't know the world is a stage. You know, that's not a negative thing. It's just like, you know, it's just another process in and of itself. You know, that we have to... Uh, it, it, oftentimes you'll learn to deal with them by not dealing with them. But I think what, for many of us, at a certain point in our spiritual awakening, it just really started to become more obvious and more evident just how many out there around us have no clue how many are crept in unawares. You know, and I'm talking about, you know, whether it be in our family, at, uh, you know, at the, at the workplace, uh, wherever. And we start to notice how, how many are still uh, sleeping. Uh, and, they, and they just don't know because they're spiritually dead. And so it takes a little while to process that. Okay, So if, you, if we make a statement like that, it's like, wow, well, yeah, it's been quite an uh, interesting journey in learning how to uh, deal with those who have no idea that the world is a stage. That's not negative. That's just pointing out a, 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 a statement of of. of fact really when you stop and think about it because you know they are sleeping <laughs> so you have to learn what not uh here's the number one tip that we often give on this one is we learn what not to give them access to because they're working for the enemy we learn what not to give them access to that's right and we learn that we cannot have highly spiritual conversations with them goes over their head okay every single time no matter how t how hard they try to convince us that they understand spiritual truths or spiritual aspects, but then you mention a specific of the spiritual, like spiritual energy or uh, 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 demon spirits, whatever, over their head. Okay, you all? Seriously. Or spiritual realm over their head. I, I, I'm telling you. <laughs> so you just learn to walk away. Got to walk away. Alright, but, and don't let them try to, see, whenever they get the look of confusion on their face, y'all, they're just trying to make us self-doubt, right? Not gonna work. We walk away because, you know, God has already revealed to us, you know, his spiritual truth. And he continues to do so. And so, also, by teaching us the power of I am. Okay, and it dove, the reason, y'all, that's not narcissism. Okay, because narcissism is the complete opposite. It not the abuse is designed to do the opposite of everything God wants to do. Okay, so all the good and all the blessing and all of the things that we're going to build in the kingdom of God. With the kingdom of God. Seek ye first the kingdom of God, right? I am a child of God. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. Okay, it's not narcissism. That pleasing the Godhead, not man. Okay, you got to please the Godhead, not man. Because we often, we all now know that what that has done for us. By going around trying to be people pleasers all the time like that. And I know there's some people out there who don't have a problem being one. You know what, that's on them. But as far, you know, whatever works. But as far as, as far as us... We realized that we've we've been taken advantage of far too often because of that. All right, we we are we are done being doormats to other people. 
Okay, we're done being their doormat. Letting them walk all over us. Take advantage of us. Mm -mm, we learned to set boundary. You know, just as a reminder, real events of narcissistic abuse, everyone. You'll, yeah, there's nine. Just, that, this is just the beginning. <laughs> okay? This is just the beginning. And, you know, because I got more case studies and everything like that. All right? And, and as always, the link to all this stuff is going to always be in the video description below. So, also, take, take a quick look over there at CHA Academy as well. If you want to learn how the trauma bond is formed and, and, and how, how it is just like a drug addiction. All right? That link is in the video description below as well. So, you know, we want y'all to be able to get some education. And it's fun. Laid back. You, it, you can complete the course within a year on at your own pace. There's nothing. It's not uh, onerous. Okay, meaning burdensome. It's not, uh, it, it, it's simple in its simplicity. Okay, basic scientific fact with God's biblical truth. Okay, God's wisdom. And so that's what we've done over there to help you all understand more of why it takes a while to break that trauma bond as well. And how to how to deal with the withdrawal. And also we've got a chapter over there all about how the overinflated ego opens up portals for unclean spirits. Mm-hmm. There's a connection. Yeah. All right. Now, but that's in the course. All right, everyone. As always, if you have any questions, you know where to reach me for additional insight, information, and other good stuff. Check out these videos right here. Sending love and light to all fellow warriors. Thank you for watching and for your support. Until next time, let's show some gratitude to the Heavenly Father. And you keep being you. In Jesus' name, amen.